Hi everyone, Julia here recording this, June 21st, 2023, summer solstice, longest daylight period of the year, lots of energy, energy, frequency, same thing, and we can feel that stuff, and it's super important to be mindful of your frequency, which is affected by lots of things, including your mood. So if you find yourself disgruntled, it's best to observe that, address the reasons why, and then move on and shake it off. Especially if you live in close proximity to others that y'all are often on the same wavelengths because your energy will really affect theirs and everyone you come across if you're out in public, if you work with a lot of people. So that's really a courteous thing to do is to try to keep your energy balanced and sorted and make it good energy, positive energy. That's what we want to spread around. We don't want to spread around anger and frustration and sadness. And usually all of those negative emotions to some people describe them are due to lack of gratitude so maybe that's a good way to try to get yourself out of these funks is to just start thinking of things that you're grateful for and uh, be genuine about it sometimes some of us in some periods of our lives, we have to think really hard to find anything to be grateful for. We feel like everything is against us, but there's always something, and you can start there. But uh, the more you start looking around and seeing all the amazing things in your life, all the abundance, all the connections, and you're genuinely grateful, everything changes. Your frequency shifts and all of a sudden you can house really good moods. You know, contentment, joy, enthusiasm. So, uh, yeah, that's something to uh, for us to focus on because even people who've done a lot of inner work can get in funky moods and people who have done a lot of inner work have strong energies and they affect a lot of other people so it's even more important for them to be able to uh, overcome the funk <laughs> and um, yeah just get things right it doesn't benefit anyone the other we can have our moments of these uh, expressions of angst, but we get over them and we realize and we have that objective view of our lives. That what's the lesson here? What's the lesson? What am I supposed to learn from this? Okay, that guy was a jerk and he did this and this and this, but I'm over it now. I'm not going to have my ego involved and be offended because somebody insulted my intelligence or something like that. Take our egos out, look at it objectively, find the lessons, and move on. And we'll have our backsliding here and there where, you know, we fall into those little traps. But, you know, that's the thing about the honest self-awareness. You can look at yourself and go, whoa, why am I doing this? I need to correct this, you know? Correct yourself before you wreck yourself, as the old song goes. 
But uh, <laughs> Rosie's got the right idea. She's in a happy mood right now. But yeah, it's up to us to uh, set that frequency and radiate it. And everyone notices when it's off. Animals especially. So, let's all be mindful of that and find the gratitude when we get disgruntled and work from there. And you can look at uh, Jill Bolton Taylor's system of working through those kinds of emotions, which is a really good one. And uh, I'll link one of her videos in the description. But uh, yeah, find a way to shake that stuff off quickly, get your frequency back to optimal, and carry on spreading the love. Alright everyone, thanks for listening. I hope you have a great morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. Remember to always focus on what you want, and help others if you can. Ciao, ciao.